It's a stat that will keep a lot of people from pursuing their dreams. Over half of small and medium-sized businesses in the U.S. fail within the first five years of operation. Our next guest says you've got to build a dream team. Make sure you're working with reliable partners. He certainly knows what he's talking about. Kevin Harrington is an entrepreneur and an original shark on Shark Tank. Good morning, Kevin. Hey, Mary, thanks for having me. Hey, it's our pleasure. You know, I feel like you, you know this stuff inside and out. So what are some of the common mistakes, the reasons that more businesses aren't staying open? Well, so yeah, half of them are going to fail in five years, but I want to be the other half that survives, right? And mm -hmm. I've been doing this 30 years. You mentioned building a dream team. That's the first thing I learned way back, and that's why I'm still in business. So mm -hmm. uh, I surrounded myself with experts, coaches, partners. And so um, I'm in the business of shipping products to consumers. And so many years ago, 30 plus years ago, uh, I teamed up with the United States Postal Service, and I'm still with them after all those years to help me provide fulfillment and satisfaction to mm -hmm. my customers. So. Uh, they ship more e-commerce than any other organization in America. So, it, you know, when you surround yourself with partners like that, um, uh, uh, operational experts, finance experts, you're going to have a much better chance to be a successful entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. So for our viewers who say, I want to be just like Kevin Harrington, um, they, maybe <laughs> they've got a website, but boy, they're, they, they're not getting a lot of interest, they're not making many sales. Uh, what could they be doing right now to make sure that they're not part of those statistics we mentioned early? Okay, a couple things. So we first talked about getting the dream team. So mm -hmm. as, as part of that dream team, I recommend you get a, a digital expert because TV viewership has gone down a little bit over the last few years. And what's happening, there's more uh, digital that's happening. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, think about all the digital opportunities that are out there for, for the millennials today, the, the, the Facebooks and the Netflix and the Snapchats and all this kind of stuff, right? But these are opportunities to build your business. Uh -huh. So, uh, I, I, you know, five years ago, I didn't use Facebook. I didn't, the, the Snapchat didn't really? even exist. Uh -huh. People are, are teaming up with these kind of digital platforms and generating massive amounts of revenue. There's a lot of companies now that are in e-commerce, a birch box, they ship on a regular basis, a package of beauty products every month and bark box does pet products every month. These are a couple companies that also have teamed up with the United States Postal Service uh -huh. to partner with them to provide these services to be successful. So, um, so that's one of the things team up with a digital, expert and get a right partner there and then also I say how do you become a key person of influence in your industry right what does that mean use some of these new media opportunities to become a key person so let's say you're a realtor how do you get that phone call for the best listing well you you know hey you go on radio shows you put out a book you publish you put out some blogs, do things with new media, and this is how you build your entrepreneurial profile. You mentioned books, put a shark in your tank, uh, your new book. Put a shark in your <laughs> um, I, I read that was crowdsourced. I mean, obviously you didn't have to go that route. Why did you? Because I wanted to get a lot of great content from, uh, from entrepreneurs all over America. I've written a few books, I've had a lot of success in books, I've, you know, I've had bestsellers, but I wanted to be able to have a book that had contributions from entrepreneurs all over America, so I've got dozens of entrepreneurs that are going to be able to tell their story, and then I'll weave my, uh, you know, kind of tie into them through that, mm -hmm. and this is going to give a, a chance for, for not just me to tell my story, but I'm telling the story of entrepreneurs across America. So uh, it's kind of a new cool concept, mm -hmm. and I'm having a lot of fun with it. That'll be out this coming fall. So thanks for asking me about that. Sure. Back to the United States Postal Service. Where's uh, the best place to go online if our viewers want to learn more about what you're up to with them? So, yes, go to USPS.com forward slash business. Um, and also, if you go to Facebook.com forward slash USPS business, you'll also be able to check them out and at USPS Biz on Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, they can really help you. They ship a lot of products. Uh, I've been doing business with them over 30 years, so I highly recommend mm -hmm. teaming up and partnering with the United States Postal Service. You don't do something for three decades if it's not working, Kevin. Thanks for joining <laughs> us today. We appreciate it. Thanks, Mary. Thanks for having me. It's our pleasure. Mike?